find the determinant of a three by three matrix. This is the method the teacher taught all the students in the class. And this is the shortcut method that the teacher did not mention to the students. They both look kind of long, but this one is significantly easier. First, I'll explain the teacher's method. The last two rows here is just arithmetic and order of operations. So that's not super important. How do we get this first row? The one, the eight, and the three come from the first row of the matrix. And the teacher told the students, to just remember it's plus minus plus. So then how do you find this inside stuff here? The six times nine minus two times zero. Take the one, you find the one up here, scratch out the column and the row that contains the one, and then do this diagonal six times nine, which is the six times nine right here, minus the two times zero. And then you repeat the same thing here. How do you find this stuff? This has the eight coefficient. You find the eight up here, you get rid of that column and that row, and then you do five times nine minus zero times six. Then you start over again. The way you find this here, you take the three, you find it up here, you get rid of that column and that row, and then you do five times two minus is six times six. And then from here, it's just arithmetic and order of operations. So now I'll show you the shortcut. So we start with the same determinant. You take this one, five, six column and you put it right here. You take the eight, six, two column and you put it right there. Then you find these three diagonals. You do one times six times nine plus eight times zero times six plus three times five times two. And then you find these diagonals and you're going to subtract each of these. You do minus six times six times three minus two times zero times one minus nine times five times eight. After you do all this math, we get the same answer, the negative 384. These literally are the same process, but just a shortcut way to think about it.